Learn how to make a picture frame from scrap wood. As you'll need are some scrap wood, some pictures, some embellishments, some color stain, some hot glue, and some twine. So I'm going to stain mine with some color stain. The color of the stain is completely up to you. You could use a regular stain like an oak or a walnut or something like that. But I'm actually going to use a light gray stain. So this gives it more of a barn wood look, like a rustic age looked look in minutes. So you just brush on the stain just like regular stain, allow it to sit a few minutes, and then we'll wipe away all the excess with a rag. Now you want to get a nice even coating with your brush and be sure to stain the sides as well as the front. You could also, after this dries, you could flip it over and you could actually stain the back so that it is finished from both sides. Then when you wipe away the excess, you get that aged appearance to the wood all within a few minutes. And then you're just going to set these boards aside and allow them to dry. Now, the size of your scrap wood is completely up to you. I'm making these about the size for a 4x6 picture. This is a great project for the end cuts of woods when you're make for the end cut of wood when you're making projects. Now, we're going to wrap these with twine. So, you want to wrap them with twine on one end. The picture will actually stick under the twine on the end and then stick out from there so you can actually see the picture. You can wrap it with as much twine as you want. And then just cut it when you're done. Cut it long enough so that you can tie the two pieces together. So you want to tie the two pieces together on the back with a double or triple knot to hold it secure. Then you want to add some embellishments to the front. So I'm going to actually wrap all of my picture frames. And then we can add the embellishments to all of them. The embellishments are completely up to you. But these are a few ideas you can use. So you could use regular fake flowers. Here I'm using a sunflower. You could also use burlap flowers. So burlap flowers come in a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and even colors. So I'm going to use actually two different versions of the burlap flower. So this one is a pink version. So you can find these at your local craft and hobby store or Amazon online, that type of thing. And then you can actually see how I stick the picture under a portion of the twine to hold it in place. This is my second version of the burlap flower. So these are small burlap colored flowers with a button already in the center. Again, you can find those at hobby stores or online on amazon.com. Just search for burlap flowers. And the fourth version I'm gonna make is actually a seasonal version. So you can make these for seasons as well. They're super inexpensive to make, so it's a great seasonal project. This project also makes a great gift, so be sure to um, make your embellishments match your gift recipient. So this one I'm going to make in a Christmas theme with a Christmas tree and a Christmas wreath. Then you just add your pictures on, wrap them up for gifts, or use them around your home. A great inexpensive way to display pictures.